Samuel. Piero here? Nope. I guess in we go. Attention Dunwall citizens. Hiram Burroughs, once known as the Lord Regent, is no longer in power. His corrupt and illegitimate regime has come to a close. Long live the Empress. Hooray for Emily. Did you kill anybody tonight? How many? I'm tired of being afraid. When I'm Empress, I'm going to make everyone else afraid. And they're all applauding me. That's it. The Lord Regent's done. Farewell to Hiram Burroughs, you skinny piece of shit. Now we can bend the law to pardon our past crimes, Corbin. We'll find out. The assassin the Lord Regent sent to butcher the Empress. Then you can have your revenge. We'll have to move fast to clean up his mess. The armed forces will do their job. Martin has control of the overseers. And you, Trevor. Do whatever it is you do with Parker. That's Lord Trevor Pendleton to you. Without me, you'll never command the nobility. They'll tear you apart like a fish. Sorry, Corvo. We're nervous. Your work is done, <laughs> and ours begins. The coronation will be an impromptu affair. But it still requires much preparation. Most of it we can handle, but there is the matter of security. Emily will be vulnerable to whoever killed her mother. I doubt history will repeat itself. But you must be sharp and wary tomorrow. He's right. Rest. Restore yourself. Raid Piero's wares. Restock your ammo and make yourself ready. Just in case. To Corvo, the man who served to change the course of history. To Emily Cole, and the new dawn rising for Dunwall and the Empire. Have you given Emily much spiritual education? The seven scriptures? The litany and the white cliff? I... no. I lack the qualifications, Overseer. Uh, hi. What will you do now that the revolution's come, Mr. Corvo? I hope you have a good plan. I know I do. Even if she's... I wouldn't mind seeing Lydia go. All it takes is a hint of prayer. What the hell? The others will set themselves up nice. Lords and all. I'll still be here. Something's not right. At last, an empress on the throne again. Will it seduce her into becoming a despot? I half expect it. One thing I'll say for the regent. We get the other day I saw Emily staring at you. Okay, this is not good. Do you think she understands what you've done? The Pendletons? Lady Boyle? I think on some level she knows what's been done in her name. Sometimes when you come home, you smell like blood. Oh, look at that painting. That's me. If someone killed the Lord Regent and someone killed the Empress before that. How do I stop them from killing me? I will stop them. My great-great-grandfather conquered the Isles. But then he got poisoned. Calissa told me. When I'm Empress, I want to build two giant ships and crash them into each other, and all the men will drown. I'm allowed to do that, right? Emily, what? I don't know if I like this, Corvo. Everybody's arguing. I won't be sorry to leave this place. Neither will Emily. Do you think the elders resent her fondness for you? I wish she'd make more cheerful paintings. I'm tempted to burn the old ones. You are an impressive man, Corvo. I hope they give you the credit. Every week, there are more rats than before. Emily will revoke the warrant on you tomorrow. Until then, legally there's still a fairly lavish reward, so I'd keep your head down and your mask on, if I were you. The Abbey is corrupt, but as long as it stays that way, I can control it. Campbell's journal was a gift. We do all this work, all this risk, so that a child can assume leadership of an empire in chaos. I give us very slim odds. All of us. This does not feel very celebratory. Well, there's always work at the Pendleton Mines. Will you be resuming your old post as Lord Protector? We'll need one. Things are very bad out there. 
Righteous and pure. I do every man's work. I can't hold back now. I'll need the Abbey What's going on? When we move, I will not be taking any furnishings back with us. It's all contaminated by this place. I think I might need some rest. But I have a feeling. Do you need me to put something together for you? Things aren't quite right. I need to sleep. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Recent revelations of the Lord Regent's role in events leading to the outbreak of plague have necessitated a restructuring phase in the city's government. Please remain alert for further announcements. Something was in that drink. I knew I couldn't trust them. Samuel, you move like you've been drinking. Did the poison work its magic? Is he dead? It better have worked. It cost me a month's profit. Yes, sir. I believe Corvo has breathed his last. Just as you wanted. You've done a fine job, then. Remember, we need the body. If we come forward with the corpse of the man who murdered the Empress, we'll be greeted as heroes. Yes, it'll grant us legitimacy. We'll be the men who rescued Emily and brought down the Lord Regent and his assassin. You'll see to the body, won't you, Samuel? Yes, sir. There's no one I can trust but myself. Why I keep sticking my neck out for you eludes me. But I only gave you half the poison, Corvo. They were watching me do it, but not close enough. Maybe you'll survive it. I can hardly blame them for turning on you. After all the people slaughtered in the name of this cause, those are crimes of state. And maybe they figure it'd be too hard to control Emily with you around. Could be they're right on that score. I'll drop you in a boat, and then I've got to ship out myself before they smother me in my sleep. That's the next thing. Makes the most sense. If you're lucky, you'll wake up and find your way out of this doomed city. If not, well, goodbye. They expect me to run. They really have learned nothing about Corvo or Tano. This is the one who was with the Empress when she died. Poisoned. Tilly and stuff. Amateur work. Kill it. That's up to Dowd. Dowd. The one who killed Chessaman. And these are his assassins. I've killed a few of these. I recognize those marks. 
marks on your hand. A gift from your friend. The one who talks to you in the dark. Talks to you when you visit his shrines. I visited those shrines too. And I know what it felt like to shove a blade into your empress. But I don't know you. Who you are. And who you fight for. They're a mystery. And I can't allow that. I think I need my weapons. My equipment to get my vengeance. I'm not sure. Here you are at last, in a ruined and drowning world, held captive by the man who killed your empress, the assassin Dowd. Your friends poisoned you and dumped your body in the river. Did they do it to protect themselves, so no one would ever know what they'd done? Or was it because they were a single move away from controlling an empire, and they knew you'd never let them manipulate Emily? Maybe none of these. Perhaps that's just the nature of man. Rats, loose bricks. You have no idea what you've done. You should have killed me when you had the chance. Money. That's why they didn't kill me. They're bounty hunters. I'm sure, their level money will. Comfort them as my knife's tails their throat, and they bleed out on the floor. Nothing but a knife. Dodd. <laughs> Coins. I doubt I'll get to use them in the future. So this is where I am. Jump down here, maybe? Uh, 
and best stay away from those. They hurt. Huh. Some sort of plants. Not a good idea to go there then. It's a gun and some bullets. Grenade. I don't need many of that. We need my gear though. If I can find my way up there. What the hell is that? I don't know, but I don't like the look of it. Weepers. Just avoid those. Come with me? Seriously? Oh, they don't catch me. Do we need that loose brick for anything in particular? This doesn't look very nice. That a lot can I climb on that? I don't think I can. No. Or maybe I can Can we do anything here? Uh, it's just ah okay. Need to find some empty tanks and fill them up there and use them. Is this anything? No. I want to stay far away from those things. Whatever they are. Hmm, something over there. Hmm. 
Ah, yes. This is where we need to find the actual things and put them in there. But where are those? There we go. Gives us a way up. Oh, rats. Keep away from those. 